French President Emmanuel Macron is a zoological coward. Medvedev. French President Emmanuel Macron has postponed his visit to Ukraine because he is a pathological coward, former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev has claimed. The Elysee Palace announced that Macron's long-awaited visit to Ukraine will take place sometime in the coming weeks. The announcement marks the third delay of the French leader's visit to Ukraine. Macron had initially planned to visit Kiev to sign a bilateral security agreement last month, but the document ended up being signed during Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's trip to Paris. Macron preparing to visit Kiev, but he's a zoological coward, Medvedev posted in French on X, recommending that Macron's office pack several changes of underwear and prepare for a strong stink. Medvedev claimed that he originally wrote the message in the morning, but by the time he decided to post it, the French president had already shit himself and pulled out of the planned visit. Poor France, he added. Instead of hurrying to Kiev, Macron wants to take the necessary time for talks with allies to be able to visit Ukraine with tangible results, Politico wrote citing an anonymous French diplomat. In recent weeks, the French president has escalated his hawkish rhetoric towards Russia, suggesting in late February that sending Western troops to Ukraine cannot be ruled out. NATO members are seeking to boost military aid to Kiev amid worries that funding from Ukraine's biggest war sponsor, the US, will dry up. Earlier this year, the White House said that Washington had used up all the money allocated to Ukraine thus far, more than $113 billion. An additional $60 billion in U.S. funding is still being held up in Congress, although recently it was suggested that the money should be loaned to Kiev rather than given away. Moscow maintains that Western military aid to Ukraine does little to alter the course of the conflict while extending the hostilities and causing needless deaths. U.S. unprepared for nuclear response to possible Russian strike on Ukraine. The U.S. was preparing a response in case Russia used nuclear weapons against Ukraine. However, this response would have been non-nuclear, according to the New York Times. As noted by the media, the peak of concern regarding a possible nuclear attack by Russia came in October 2022. At that time, Russian President Vladimir Putin stated that Russia could use nukes against Ukraine. According to the New York Times, during several weeks in October 2022, the White House was engulfed in crisis. The administration of U.S. President Joe Biden feared that Moscow might use tactical nuclear weapons on the battlefield. According to the sources cited by the publication, the White House's concern was so great, the task forces were convened to determine what the U.S. response might be. Biden's team believed that the response should be non-nuclear, but according to representatives of the U.S. president's administration, the reaction should be dramatic, possibly a conventional attack on units that had launched nuclear weapons. In the White House, it was believed that the use of nuclear weapons in response could encourage Putin and other authoritarian states to use their nuclear arsenal. It is worth noting that Russian President Vladimir Putin has repeatedly threatened Ukraine and Western countries with nuclear weapons. In addition, Russia has moved its nuclear weapons to Belarus. However, the President Alexander Lukashenko cannot use them independently. As reported by the American news outlet CNN, the U.S. was preparing for a nuclear strike by Russia on Ukraine by the end of 2022. Washington relied on some intelligence information. We had to plan so that we were in the best possible position in case this no longer unthinkable event actually took place, a senior U.S. administration official told CNN. According to another U.S. official, from late summer to fall of 2022, the U.S. National Security Council convened a series of meetings to develop contingency plans, including for either very clear signs of a nuclear strike in the making or an actual strike. How we would respond, how we would try to preempt it or deter it, the official explained. The United States believed that the loss of Kherson could provoke Russia to a nuclear strike on Ukraine, as Moscow could see it as an existential threat, the unnamed American official said a nuclear strike could also be seen by the Kremlin as a tool to deter Ukraine from further liberation of territories or a potential attack on Russia.